Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 14th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Just a shout out and a thank you to those of you who continue to follow this channel. May the Lord bless you as you hear what he is saying to his church. To those of you who are new, a special welcome. May you be blessed as you receive this message today. Once again, if you would like a printed copy of this word, please go to my website and click on the upper right-hand corner of the PDF to access it. To access past prophetic words, go to the archives. My website address can be found in the description box below. The word I'd like to share with you today is quite lengthy, and because of that, there is a variety of the aspects of the message the Lord has given. As I prepared this word, I was reminded of the character of God. God is a God of redemption, but he is also a God of judgment. So both these aspects of God's character are brought out in this word today. He desires that none should be lost. But because he is a holy God, his judgment and wrath will come upon the unjust, the unrepentant, those who choose to reject him. And so this word today, though it is a word of encouragement for those who have chosen to serve the Lord, it is also a word of warning to those who persistently reject him. But there is even more to this word today. When we look around us in the world, we see chaos, we see destruction, and we think that it is the work of the devil. But the Lord is assuring us that he is also bringing destruction. He is taking down the kingdoms of the world because he is establishing his kingdom in the earth. And so when we see this chaos round about us, a storm of destruction, could it be that this is the work of the Lord? He has called us out of the world and not to be a part of the worldly system. I hope that you are blessed and encouraged as you hear this word today. It is titled, The Coming Storm. I'll begin by reading scripture. Titus 2 verses 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age, while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good. This scripture passage speaks of the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, of the salvation that has been offered to all people. Revelation 14, verse 7. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water. This scripture verse warns us to worship God because his judgment is coming upon those who do not. 
Daniel 2, verse 44. In the time of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. This scripture verse speaks of the destruction of the kingdoms of the world. I looked up the word kingdom in the dictionary, and this is its definition. A realm or territory associated with or regarded as being under the control of a particular person or thing. The kingdoms the Lord is destroying are the kingdoms built by men and under the control of the prince of this world, who is Satan. I'll begin reading this word. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for I am doing a new thing, says the Lord. As the waters cover the earth, I am pouring out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will surely prophesy. Get ready, I am about to pour out my spirit upon your children in portions never seen. I am doing a deeper work in them than you see. I have entered the recesses of their hearts. No other generation has been raised up the way I am about to raise up this generation. They will go to and fro in the power of my spirit. The word of the Lord will pour forth from their mouths. This is the generation I am leading in to take possession of the land. You will be amazed at what you see in your children. I have come to redeem them from the pit of destruction, from the hordes of hell. I have heard the cry of my people, and I will heal the land, says the Lord. I will restore and bring back the backslider, those who have known me but have gone astray, and those who have known of me but have not known me. I will reveal myself to them. At every turn they will see me. They will experience my joy. They will see that I love them, care for them, and am for them and not against them. They will experience my love and be healed of all their diseases, of all their addictions, of all that the evil one has afflicted upon them. I am about to set your children free, to release them from captivity, to untie every rope that has bound them. I've heard your cry for your children, says the Lord. Did I not say that I would do these things? Did I not say that I have come to release those in darkness and to make for myself a people who would worship me in spirit and in truth? For they shall be called my people, and I shall be called their God. Hear, O oh hear, my people. Incline your ear to me, and you will hear of great and marvelous things. I will show you the desires of my heart, and I will put my desires into your heart, and you will be a people after my own heart, as David was. Dance before me, exalt the Lord your God, for he is great and greatly to be praised. Lift up your voices of exultation. Let the name of the Lord be lifted up on high. Let his banner be lifted high. Rejoice, rejoice, my people. And again I say, rejoice, for I am about to do great and mighty things amongst you. You will marvel at the things I do. The sea is roaring and raging round about humanity. The waters are rising and the people are drowning. Go, you must go. 
do not hesitate to pull them out of the waters. The tide is coming in. A great tidal wave of destruction is about to hit. Go and get them. Now is the time. My angels are holding back the winds, so you must go now. Leave everything you are doing and go, for the time is now. They are crying out to me, won't someone help? I hear their cries. Day and night, I hear their cries. I want to rescue them, to pull them out before it is too late. So go. I say go in my name into the highways and byways and into those places. Go. I will go with you. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. I am sending you out into the harvest fields. The sickle is being swung. The trumpet has been sounded, and the sickles have been loosed into the fields. I am speeding up my coming. There will be no more delay. Rise up. Rise up, my people, for the glory of the Lord is upon you. I have called you to take my glory to the lost, to those who are drowning. I have prepared an ark, and they must enter it, for soon the doors will be closed and the flood waters will come. The tidal wave is coming, and the end is soon. My wrath is about to be poured out upon the sons of disobedience. The grapes will be put into the wine press, and the blood will flow. The blood of my son was spilled for them, yet they refused to repent, to turn from their wicked, perverse ways, and my judgment is coming. My beloved, rest in me. You will find peace under my wing. I will hide you from the wrath that is to come. I will shelter you, says the Lord your God. Draw near to me, run into my arms, and I will hold you, and the waters will not hurt you, and the winds that swirl around you will not hurt touch you. You will be safe in my arms as in the eye of a tornado. There will be darkness for a time, but the light and the love of my Son will be upon you and in you, and you will be at peace even in the raging storm. Did I say I would take you out of the world? No, but I said that my peace will be upon you. Destruction will be everywhere, for I am tearing down the kingdoms of this world. I have shown you the way. It is through my Son. There is no other way. This way leads to life. Tell them there is no other way. Many have tried to enter by the wide gate, but it leads to destruction. The way to life is through the narrow gate. This is a warning to the people. Tell them the way is through my Son, and that there is no way to the Father except through the Son, my dearly beloved Son, who shed his blood. It was poured out as an offering, the propitiation for all sin. Only the blood of Jesus is acceptable. Tell them my son died for them, that his blood was shed for them too. Go and bear fruit for the kingdom. Do the works that the Father sent you to do, to labor with him till the full number is in. What I said I would do, I will do, for truly all nations shall be blessed through him. This is the culmination of the age, and the Son of Righteousness is coming with healing in his wings, and he will restore all things. No longer will a man say, Know the Lord, for he shall know him 
for from within his innermost parts will come springs of living water. I am about to take you to a higher level in my spirit if you are willing to go where I send you, to do what I do, to say what you hear me saying. I will make you ready. I am coming. I am he, faithful and true, the son of the most high God, and I have come with a sword to smite the enemy who has prevented my people from moving forth in the power of my spirit. I am setting up my kingdom in the midst of you. I am establishing my throne in your midst. You shall come to worship me. You shall come with fear and trembling to worship me, says the Lord your God, for I have created all things for my pleasure. All creation shall bow down and worship me. This word today is quite lengthy, and as I mentioned, it covers a variety of aspects. The Lord is encouraging us that He is reaching out to redeem our children, the prodigals, the backslider, those who have gone in a wrong direction. And He is encouraging us once again to go where he would send us, to do what he would do, and to speak the words he would give us to speak. Because there is an urgency in this day, and a warning of coming destruction, and coming judgment upon the wicked. The Lord is asking us to make it clear to those who have lost their way that there is only one way to the Father, and that is through the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ. The Lord is taking down the kingdoms of this world, and so we may see chaos all around us, and the destruction of those things that we were familiar with in the world's system. But the Lord is encouraging us that as these things come down, that we will be safe in his arms, that he is establishing his kingdom in our midst, and that all creation will come and worship at his throne. My prayer is that as we see the kingdoms of the world coming down, we will recognize that this may be a work of the Lord, that he is coming to crush ungodly kingdoms. May we look to him. May we cling on to him. May we worship him in spirit and in truth as he performs his redemptive work in the earth. May we not fear the coming storm, but continue to rejoice in Him and in what He is doing. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you in every aspect of your life. May His face shine upon you and give you His peace. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to all of you in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.